Hello everyone, this is Neil Harpstreit here at AMBU and today I'm going to give you a brief, a brief in-service on our pediatric resuscitators. We have a number of different configurations but they all work off of these three basic configurations. We have our pediatric 40 inch tube reservoir version here. We have our pediatric version with a closed 2600 milliliter reservoir here. And then we have our collapsed version here for storage purposes. One thing that you will notice with all of our resuscitators is they are color coded just like on our adults where it is blue, our pediatric is indicated yellow for pediatric and then our infants will be indicated green for infants. Today I will focus on our pediatric resuscitator indicated by yellow. One thing that we do incorporate in our external packaging is our perforation. This is a quick release perforation that comes right off. If you see this perforation is missing from the bag, that means it has been tampered with. There could be something missing in the bag, it could not have all its parts, or it had, could have been used on other patients. When you open the bag itself, you will pull out the pediatric resuscitator, and you will notice that it has a mask attached. We're going to take this mask off for now. We're going to set it aside. We will start with our 2600 milliliter reservoir. This is a very lightweight but strong gauge plastic and we've designed it to be that way for a number of different reasons. As we move forward to our compression unit, our compression unit like our adults has a pre-manufactured seam there so it can be collapsed like we have here. This will allow it to be protected when it's in storage. We also have our integrated handle, just like we do on the adults, where you can put a couple fingers in there and give very consistent ventilations. You can also relax your hand and hold the bag with your shoulder or your forearm and upper arm. It also reduces hand fatigue and prevents blistering. As we move forward on the bag, you will notice we have a 40 centimeter pop-off, which is standard on all pediatric bags. Currently, it is in the non-overridden position. To override this, it clips and flips up just like that. To disengage the override, which is the way it comes out of the package, you just flip it back. We also have, just like on our adults, our medication delivery port where you can deliver any type of cardiac care drug or pediatric care drugs through the resuscitator. You can also do ET CO2 monitoring through this port. Another feature that is unique to the AMBU bags, just like on our adults, is our, four, is our single shutter membrane. Moving forward, we also have our deflector cap, which is also a standard feature on all of our bags. This deflector cap is here to catch material and that the patient may be regurgitating or spitting up through the AMBU bag. It will catch it deflect it away from the clinician or the caregiver as a safeguard and protect you from contamination. Another feature that we have on our pediatric resuscitator is our manometer port, which is standard on most pediatric resuscitators. Our manometer port is a little different. It follows the international ISO standards, so our connection here is not the same size as your standard O2 inlet connection. What we have done is we have added an extra adapter here so that if you do need to work, connect a wall mounted manometer, you can turn around and attach that and then hook your oxygen tubing right there. If you are using a disposable manometer, like I have here, our AMBU disposable manometer, that will just attach here. Just screw that right on. And then as you give breaths, you can see how that pops off. One thing that's nice about our manometer is you can maneuver it all around in different ways. If it's sideways, you can see it. If it's straight up, you can see it. So everyone at the bedside that's administering care can see what our manometer is measuring. Moving forward, we have our deflector cap, which we talked about. To put a peep valve on, you just take that off. We have a standard AMBU peep valve here. You're going to put that on with a twist, just like on our adults. It will create a friction seal. And from there, our peep valve will stay secure and snug while you're administering it. Now we go back to our mask, just like on our adults, it has the, the quick tear away dust cover so that if it were to fall and be dropped while taking it out of the bag, it protects it from becoming soiled. 
Just like on our adults, we have that defined bridge, so you can very easily grip that mask and get a good seal around the patient, especially if this mask becomes soiled. The other item that is nice, just like on our adults, is that defined nose bridge to get a good, very good seal around the bridge of the nose. To attach our mask, you will attach it here at the patient point. Our mask and our bag can be rotated in 360 degrees. Our resuscitator here can also be ro 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 rotated. Our resuscitator here can also be rotated so that you can move that handle out of the way if you choose. That concludes our in-service today. Thank you for watching.